Hi, I'm Emma, fresh from London to follow the DHL NZ Lions series. My mighty Lions are taking on the best teams in New Zealand and we'll be roaring along in our very own painted bricks camper vans. If you see us, come say hi to the Vodafone Rugby Road Trip. We're here in Te Kawiti, a small town in rural New Zealand where the population is less than 5,000. The crowds are gathered for the unveiling of Sir Colin Mead's statue, an absolute legend of New Zealand rugby. He's always a good guy to you know go and have a couple of beers off, have a chat to about the past and rugby or rugby in general. Maybe he threw a torpedo pass from one side of the field to the other, you know, one-handed from one side to the other. He's probably like our big uh, physical uh, men now. I reckon he was a bit before his time, you know, a big giant forward uh, running like a bat. He's the world's famous rugby player. Uh, he's famous and he lives in Te Kori. Oh, we're just really proud of, of Colin and the history that he's, um, you know, the history of um, his game in New Zealand. And we're just so so glad that we've got this here to commemorate him. He does. And it brings a lot of pride to the town. It's, it's really incredible, actually. He had an ability to uh, stand in a line out, push three people with that hand, reach up with that hand and get the ball. He was just an incredible athlete. Colin likes people, and particularly people who, who just like talking sensible uh, rugby, sensible anything, uh, or, or you know, who, who just like having a beer and enjoying one another. Ten days ago, I would say there was no show, but we came down here yesterday and he was in good shape and I said to him, what are you wearing? He said, oh, I'm putting my suit on. And so I knew then straight away he was coming. He, he, there was no way he wasn't going to be here. But uh, it's been a struggle, but I, I think he's handled it. He's handled it damn well, I see. Oh, being picked as an All Black, and then being able to wear the jersey, get out and play, you know. You, different in our days, we got picked in Wellington, come home and had to play club football. And for two two weeks I had to play club football here in Tikawiti as an All Black. The greatest moment is being picked and putting that jersey on.